Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel where we try to customize windows. In this video I will show you how to make your windows desktop prettier. I will show you how to change windows icons, cursor, wallpaper and more. So make sure that you watch to the end of the video for the complete result. Get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started right after a quick message from today's video sponsor. Sponsored by UPDF, the all-in-one solution to your PDF project problems on Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android. UPDF presents itself as one of the fastest and most intuitive PDF readers out there. With UPDF you have an option to change the page layout to your desire. And on top of that it also comes with dark mode option. With UPDF you can convert PDFs to other formats like Word, Excel and PowerPoint. You can organize PDFs and UPDF is also capable of recognizing text on your PDF file with an AI. UPDF also comes with an option to annotate your PDFs. To add a comment to your PDF, you can click on the pen icon on the top left corner. From the top menu, I will select text common and then I will click somewhere on the PDF file where I think comment needs to be. And now you can type what you want in this comment area. With UPDF, you can also edit PDF documents to your desire. For example, if you click on the top left pen and document icon, you will enter the edit mode. Mode. Now you can select text mode and change the text to your desire. Now you can get exclusive 40% discount on UPDF by clicking the link down below. So first let's add a custom icon pack to the Windows. But before that, let me show you the version of Windows 11, which I'm currently running. So this is the latest one, 22H2 release of Windows 11. So this tutorial is fully supported with the latest Windows 11 release. So here on the website, deviantart.com, I chose this Fluent Keys icon theme for today's tutorial. If you want to get it, you can click this green download arrow on DeviantArt. And of course you will need to have an account for DeviantArt.com so you are then able to download files from there. So here I will click this green download arrow to get the zip file and down below we will also need to install another program which is called 7TSP and this one will allow to install this custom icon pack. So here on another deventr.com website here I will also click this green download arrow to get the zip file and now I will go to the downloads folder. Right click on the zip file and then extract all and then you will repeat the same process on the icons zip file as well. So after extracting the files here you should see two more folders. First let's go to the 7TSP extracted folder and here we need to do renaming. So right click on the file where it says .ee at the end, throw more options and here I will select rename and right now I will remove one e and then type xe. So exe file or executable is the ending of this important file. Here I will select yes and now we can run this 7TSP program and now we can go back to the icons folder so the extracted icons folder here we have it now I will go to this folder where it says 7 TSP 1903 now here you will choose your preferred option of the icons personally I will go with the night mode because I will use windows in the dark mode or if you want you can go to the day mode or if you choose to use windows in light mode here I will right click show more options and rename right now I will remove ending of the file and also the dot so the updated ending of the file is .7z. Now here I will press yes and now we can go back to the 7TSP program. Here I will select add a custom pack and now we need to search for icon pack. So go to the downloads folder, select here Fluent Keys icon team, Fluent Keys icon team by Nivu and here go to 7TSP folder and here I will select this 7zip file click open here and right now we can select here start patching. So here I highly recommend that you create a restore point in case if anything goes wrong you can always revert back to normal windows. So here I will press yes and the patching should start and after that I'll get back to you guys when the patching is complete. So as you can see the patching is completed and now we can reboot the system. So now we can already see that a few of the icons have been patched. So for example if I open up the file explorer here all of the icons or most of the icons are patched. But right now here in the taskbar for example the file explorer is one of the icons which isn't patched. So to fix that you can right click on the file explorer once again right click 
click on the file explorer here and then select here properties. Now here I will select this option, change icon. Now I will click browse and now I will go to the folder which contains the custom icons. So Fluent Keys icon team and here I will select Windows icons. Now here make sure that you select mode of the icons which you previously selected in 7TSP. In my case this is night and here I will search for one icon which I think correlates with the file explorer. So in this case I think that the desktop icons look all right. So here I will click open, click OK and then apply and now you can see that nothing actually changed. Now what I recommend is that you sign out of your account and then sign back in or you can just reboot your computer. So here you can also see that the file explorer icon has been patched. Now we still need to patch the Windows start menu icon. So to fix that we will need to use third party program for start menu and for the taskbar. And the one which I recommend is called start all back. It isn't free but you can try it for 30 days trial. So here on this website here I will get this exe file, I will install it and then I will get back to you guys when the installation is complete. So here I have start all back already installed and now if we go to the taskbar section now we will need to change the orb style, so these icons for the start menu, to something that um, it's quite similar to those which we chose for the icons. So first let's go to the website, this one. I will also put a link for this one in video description down below. And this is basically the white orb for Windows start menu. And now if you click the down on button here on this website, you can get this zip file with the orb files as well. So here I will get the file. Now I will go to the downloads folder, extract the zip file. So here click extract. And now we can go back to the start all back configurator. So here I will select plus here, so this green plus button. Now I will go to the downloads folder, select this extracted folder with the orb file. Now I will select here normal and here I will select normal BMP file. So here I will click open and here you must check this option. So here you can already see that we have a brand new orb icon in the top left. In my opinion, it already looks quite slick, but to enhance this look, we can also go to the properties here. Then we can go to the top bar here I will select center task icons dynamic transparency as well and here I will select segments and select here just central segment here I will close the window and now we have this beautiful windows desktop or this taskbar already here. So if you want to customize this dock at the bottom even further, you can right click to go to the properties here. Now here you will go to the advanced and make sure that you enable the option use custom taskbar coloring. So here what you will need to do is drag this slider thingy to the left, so to the zero. And now you will select this teardrop icon and make sure that you select here whatever option you prefer. Personally, I will go here with the clear option. Now we still need to add a widget to our desktop. So to do that, you can go to the rainmeter.com and first make sure that you install Rainmeter. And second, we will need to install a widget. So the widget which I chose for this tutorial is from Jack's core. So Jack's core. And now we can go here on his GitHub page and install this Rainmeter skin. In the Jack's Core Rainmeter skin, navigate to the library. Here I recommend that you get the modular clocks Rainmeter skin. So here, make sure that you click this green arrow to start the download and install of the Rainmeter skin. And uh, after installation, you should see this text here installed. And now you can also activate the skin at the top left. Now here I will navigate to the general tab and here I will select this style of the clock with this beautiful weather at the bottom. And now we can close the Jack score skin, right click on the widget and then change the alignment to the center. Of course, if you want to have a music widget on your desktop, you can always use modular player skin. So you can get it from the same developer on this Jack score skin hub. So here you can activate it at the top left, same as the previous widget. Now you can go to the general and select which 
whatever skin you like. Personally, I like this Windows 11 skin and now you can already see it right here at the bottom. And now if you go to the style options, you can also change the look of it. And for the wallpaper, I usually get mine on unsplash.com. There are some of the quality wallpapers out there. And for this tutorial, I chose this one. And with that said, this has been taken to this video. If you haven't already, guys, drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated. And all the required files are linked in video description down below. So with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.